YouTube, what's going on? And welcome to the 42nd episode of my Android Like Career Mode. In this episode, we are going to be playing three, or actually, I don't know how many games are in this episode. We'll just have to find out. So here we go into this episode. We uh, see some transfer negotiations and also see that we do sell here. We You can see the lineup that I'm rocking with right there. Thielman's and Vieto and Paco as the front three. So we start off this game with Negredo on the ball right here. Back heel to Aguero. Aguero plays it outside to Jesus Navas. Navas on the ball right here. He's dribbling it around. He gives it back inside to Zabaleta. Zabaleta inside to Aguero. Aguero gets the ball stolen by Bensla. But now Nzazi on the ball right here. Gives it off to Luciano Vieto. Vieto. He's going to stop. He's going to turn back on the inside. He's dribbling it around. Tries to fake shot. Hidir with the steal. Thielman's gets it back. But Mangala with a solid tackle. Now Jesus Navas on the ball. He's dribbling it down the wing. Here he goes. He's going to whip it across to the far post, but Bentaleb on the header. It falls to Sandy Nazri, who has the shot, but Proto with the solid save, and we do clear the danger. So that would be the end of the first half, as uh, both teams like kind of struggling to create much chances, and I'm very happy with the nil-nil draw so far, but Romero on the ball gives it back to Diekmeyer. Diekmeyer back to Romero. Romero plays it through inside to Vieto. Vieto holds the ball up. Scoop turns around one. He's going to stop. He's going to make another move back. Has the finish shot. Oh, Luciano Vieto. What a goal, mate. Take a bow. Just do the scoop turn around the one defender. Then another skill move around Mangala right there, and has the finish and that shot right past Joe Hart. A stunning goal from the young Argentine striker, and Anderlecht take a surprise lead against Manchester City. Now Vieto, here he comes again. He's trying to make it 2-0, but he does pass the ball up to Lucas Romero. Romero dribbles in, has this shot. It's a big save by Joe Hart, the English goalkeeper, but that would actually be the end of the game, so I'm very happy of a 1-0 win right there, and all we need is one goal at the Etihad, and we'll take a three-goal lead, so that's really good. So now we see a transfer Offer for Paco Alcacer, a player I'm not really looking to sell, but actually he's worth 36 to 55 million. So I try to get 45 million, I believe, from Inter, but unfortunately you'll see so many transfer negotiations. They only went up to 26.5 million, and if he's worth 36 to 55, I would gladly take 36, but 26 is just too much lower than his valuation. So I'm hoping one more team does come in for him in this transfer window, so I am able to sell him because he's not my favorite player so far he just he seems really slow on the ball and uh just not the greatest striker he's a decent finisher though but here we go into the game against liverpool vieto paco alcacer luke spiker tielmans romero onzazi ake van diek sula and diekmeyer and proto and goal but henderson would start this game up here he gives it back outside glenn johnson johnson on the ball right here he's gonna play through ball into henderson henderson to markovic but markovic shot just goes wide as that would be the end of the first half a very boring first half for both teams is Neither team was really able to break each other down, but here comes Anderlecht on the attack right here. It's Paco Alcacer, the guy with the transfer rumors. He's going to dribble around Henderson. He has the shot, but Mengele is equal to the shot and makes the save. But here comes Sula on the ball right here. Gives it off to Yuri Tielemans, our star cam. He's dribbling the ball around right here. He takes it outside. Here he goes. He can have a shot with that left foot. Oh, it's right off the post, and Mengele collects. But now Asaidi on the ball right here. He plays it back outside to Coutinho. Coutinho dribbling it around. Through a ball to Lazar Markovic. Around Van Dijk. Easy finish. Yes, it is. So the young winger for Liverpool will make the score one nothing Liverpool as he just dribbled it right around Van Dijk. Some great play by the young winger as he just calmly after that move finishes it into the bottom corner. But Vieto on the ball right here. We're definitely looking to at least get a draw right here. Vieto ran down the wing. He's going to beat the defender. Triple tap cross. Lewis Baker. Oh my. What a foot save by Simon Mingule. And he will cost us another point right there. Him and and Michel Borm have made saves of the year to cost us points against each Liverpool and Tottenham. But as you can see, this, I think, is the last offer I make to enter, and eventually they just decline it. But I do get to loan out one of my Youth Academy players, so that's pretty good. I'm hoping some of them eventually do grow, and or maybe I could just sell them for some money. But we do see that Zeller is actually available on pre-contract, and he would definitely fix my goalie problem with running Proto right here, only 74 rated. I do decide to sim the game against Rockdale. We played them, and it was a really boring nil-nil draw. I didn't even decide to show it to you, so I just sim the second leg, and thankfully... We do get a 2-0 win, so we will be advancing in the FA Cup. That is actually the first game I have simmed so far in this whole series, but it's not going to be... Uh 
thing that happens very often. But we do we are trying to sign Derek because Mbembo wants to leave, and I'm hoping he can be almost as good. But we do see that Zeller does accept his pre-contract offer, so he will be coming into the squad right here, a fantastic goalkeeper. So at the start of next year, he will be our new starting goalkeeper. And we also get Ben, ben Amos too, but that will wrap it up for this episode of the Andrew Lecourie Mode. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and also subscribe for more Andrew Lecourie Mode videos.